Well, what's it like to be going down a uh, 4% grade and blowing two tires on your trailer fully loaded? I'm going to tell you that and a little bit more in just a minute. All right, so what happened? Here's what happened. Oh my God. This was two days after I'd been sitting three days from being rear-ended on the interstate. Ugh, it's just, it was like the week that wouldn't end. And um, this definitely was the week that wouldn't end. I was, that load I got, I had on my, tr on my trailer when I got rear-ended and, and got s stuck for four days. I was continuing that load and it was coming from Mississippi to Tucson, Arizona. It was five stand-up coils on skids. So I didn't have any trouble with those moving because they were strapped down very well. I was riding, running back with a buddy of mine because we were, we were delivering loads to the same area so we were running together. And he was out in front of me, oh, about an eighth, quarter of a mile. And we were coming down a, a, a hill, it's known as Texas Canyon, just uh, outside of Benson, Arizona, just east of Benson, and we were going west dropping down into Benson. So um, we're cruising along about 70, speed limit right there, 75, and uh, coming over the top of the hill, cresting down, and start to pick up speed through the jakes on, um, and kind of held it at 73, 75 miles an hour right in there. Not much traffic on the road. The two rear tires on the passenger side on the trailer, I was suspect that one of them may have been damaged in that accident, but it didn't show it. But when I spoke with the insurance adjuster, I let him know it's possible that the bumper got hit, pushed into the tire, and may have caused belt damage. But uh, I, I didn't know. I was going to have it x-rayed when I got back to Phoenix at the end of this load. And uh, been running good, been checking it every few hundred miles, appeared to be in great shape. And I don't know if one of the tires hit something and blew and blew the other one or exactly what happened but right when I felt a funny wobble the car was to my left and I looked over and the girl in the passenger seat was waving her hands at me and pointing to the rear of my trailer so I knew something had happened so obviously I was slowing down by that time and um, I let my buddy know up ahead of me know on the CB that I think I blew a tire and so he said well I'm going to pull off, uh, slow down, go around me, and let me check to see what's going on so he could put eyes on it uh, coming down the hill. Sure enough, he said, yeah, you blew a tire. So I backed it way down to about 30, 35 miles an hour. It's about two miles from the Loves there in Benson, three miles maybe, and uh, told him I was just going to limp it into that Loves and have him check it out and if I needed to get another tire. So I made it down the hill, took the exit, got, I was pulling into the Loves and the guy was, the mechanic was, wasn't busy. He was standing out in the driveway and just started pointing at which door to go to. And when I pulled in, I said, how'd, how'd you know I needed to come in here? And he said, I could see the tire flopping on the outside of your tire. It was pretty bad. Because I had talked to him on the way down the side of the truck, the driver's side, which is not the side they blew on. So I hadn't seen what had happened yet. And he said, yeah, it looks like you blew two tires. So um, I'm going to throw some pictures in here so you can see these. Um, these were brand new tires two weeks before that. A brand new 16 ply tires cost $990 for two of them. And um, great tires, but obviously one of them had been damaged and the heat buildup caused something to happen and it blew, it blew both of them. That's my guess. I mean, from what you could see in the pictures, it looks like may have happened. Now, another thing may have happened, if you look at the pictures, is the belts could have separated. I'm not sure exactly what caused it, but it wasn't good. So, um, I'm back in town. I'm going to try to leave out again tomorrow. I don't have time to sit around any longer. I got two new tires, just inexpensive retreads on there that I can run for a while, which is something I never do because I don't run retreads, but I'm trying to save capital right now and get out and get back. So, boy, I'm telling you, even with new tires, you don't know what's going to go on. I thought well, I thought I was good, but obviously I wasn't. And, uh, you know, you just never know. You got to be careful. You got to pay attention to your mirrors. It was crazy. It was crazy. I mean, these things are shredded, as you saw in the pictures. But So, anyway, keep safe out there. Don't run faster than you should. 
which is why I was going under the speed limit. And um, pay attention to cars that go by you. Because if something's happened and you don't know it, somebody's going to be waving at you. They're going to tell you something happened. And if you're just staring straight down the road all day long, you're never going to know unless you got a CB and, and a truck's behind you. The neighbor dogs are happy. So anyway, I'm going to sign off. Hope this helps you out. Keep your eyes on your mirrors and keep your CB on and be safe. Stay lovely out there. Adios.